I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode, I thought we'd talk about boxer's fractures. Okay, what is a boxer's fracture? Well, it's actually a misnomer because boxers wear wraps underneath their gloves. They also know not to punch this way, so they hardly ever get a boxer's fracture. But a boxer's fracture is typically caused when someone strikes something, typically a relatively solid object, out of anger and it bends down the outside of the hand and causes a fracture of the fifth metacarpal in the hand, this part of your hand. It's usually, typically, a boxer's fracture is at the distal end of the fifth metacarpal. So what we have here is an AP x-ray of a boxer's fracture. The fifth metacarpal is broken and it's angulated. Okay, we have a oblique of this same fracture because sometimes on the APs they're, or the laterals they're somewhat hard to see so on the AP they're easy to see, on the oblique they're easy to see and sometimes on the lateral they're not so easy to see. So I didn't give you a lateral to look at because it, you know, is no fun to look at. So what do we do with these fractures? Well it all depends on whether they're stable or not and it all depends on whether they're stable after we reduce them. So we typically take the patient to the operating suite and reduce the fracture, in other words push it back where it belongs so it's in line and then we take the little finger of your hand and the ring finger of your hand through 30 degrees of the normal range of motion if there's any motion at the fracture site then it requires pinning. If there is no motion at the fracture site you get put in a cast, like I'll put a picture here of what the cast would look like. This is called an ulnar gauntlet cast and it looks like this picture right here. And that's what you'd get if the fracture was stable. Well, this patient's fracture was not stable when, we, when I took it through the range of motion. So they get this. This is the AP of what we call percutaneous pinning. In other words, we drive pins through the skin, through the fifth metacarpal and through the fourth metacarpal. So now the pin is holding the fifth metacarpal reduced with the stability of the fourth metacarpal. Okay, so there is an oblique x-ray here of the same thing, percutaneous pinning. This patient's post-op x-rays, you can kind of see that there's a splint there as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.